As the mayor of a town, you've received multiple complaints about the lighting issues in your town from the citizens. What we're going to be focusing on is the safety portion. To answer the issues, or to address the issues that the um, citizens have brought up, your students are going to take a look at what exactly connects light and safety. So, the first thing we're going to look at is what exactly do we mean? And does light actually mean that, more light actually mean that people are safer? We're also going to take a look at how that connects to crime. So if lights are poorly designed or poorly placed, that actually provides places for criminals to hide. We also have public lighting standards listed here that the students are going to compare their own measurements to. We're also going to talk about how to light responsibly and what makes lighting good or bad. Also, we have some key ideas that students can use to go on the internet and do some more research on their own if they're interested. So that leads us into the activity that we're going to be doing today to answer the safety issues that they, the citizens have brought up to the mayor. Now we're gonna talk about your quality lighting teaching kit, which includes all of the materials that you'll need for your activity. The first thing that I wanna point out is that the two posters that we just talked about are in the poster tube in your box. Next, we have an instructor's guide, which includes your recommended light levels worksheet. So that's where your students are going to look to compare their results to the standard lighting levels. Also, we have a box labeled safety, and that includes your lux meter, which is what the students are going to use to make their measurements. So let's talk about how to use your lux meter now. The first button you're gonna use is the power button. That'll power it on and off. The second button is the lux slash FC button, which is Lux or foot candles. What we're going to be using is Lux. The two can be compared by um, maybe thinking about meters and feet. So we're going to be using the metric version, which is Lux. The next thing we need to talk about is how to calibrate your Lux meter. All you have to do is power it on and then make sure this cap is closed. And when you're ready to take your measurement, you'll take the cap off. And as you can see, the most significant digit is one. So that means we need to change our range. So we'll press the range button until we get a number. And that's our measurement. So we have, let's see, about, we'll call it 317. And that'll be our measurement. So when we want to take another one, we need to remember to always recalibrate. So put the cap back on. Make sure that zero is displayed, and then you're ready to take your next measurement. You might be asking what a lux is. A lux is lumens per meter squared, so it's basically the brightness per area. The students are gonna be measuring light in different areas, so we're gonna be measuring it in the bathroom, the first thing we want to do is press our power button and make sure that the cap is closed on the lux meter. And the reason I chose this position to put the lux meter is because this is our point of interest. So what I'm going to be using the light for is to wash my hands. So we want to hold the sensor where I would be washing my hands, where I would be using the most light. And I'm going to remove the cap to take my measurement. The most significant digit is one. So I'm gonna press the range button until I get a number. Right here I'm getting about 463, so that's my measurement. 
Now we're in a library and we're gonna be measuring the lux in the library. So I'm gonna turn the power button on, make sure it's at zero, remove the cap, and since the significant, the most significant figure is one, I'm going to select a different range. And now my measurement is 243 lux. This close-up actually shows a reading that's a little bit less than the one that I just got because there is a little bit of movement in the room. We brought the camera closer so that actually blocks a little bit of the light from the sensor, making our reading 236 lux. Our next measurement is going to be taken in broad daylight. So I chose this point of interest because this is where I'd be sitting and doing activities like reading. This is where I need the most light. So I'm going to hit the power button. Since it's not at zero, I'm going to hit the range button until I do get a zero. Now that it's calibrated, I'm going to take the lid off. And I need to change my range one more time since the most significant digit is one. My measurement now is reading 904 lux, and since the range is times 100, that's going to be 90,400. We'll be taking our next measurement in an office setting. So I'm going to turn the power on, wait for it to zero out, remove the cap, and change the range until I get a number. So what I'm getting at this spot is 577 lux. And the reason I put the Lux meter at this spot was because it's far enough away from my computer screen to justify where I would be sitting and working, and it's also beneath the office lights. What we found in our results was that two of our locations were actually pretty spot on. So our main office was off by a factor, or off by 77, which really isn't too bad. And then also our outside was pretty spot on. Um, it just really depends on the time of day that you take the measurements. But we did find that the restroom and library were a little bit off from the standard lighting levels, which is fine, but um, that's something that you and your students should talk about if you find a difference like that and ask them if they would be able to work in less light or if they need more light. So the original question that we're going to go back to is how much light is actually needed to perform tasks safely? What the students are going to do with their results is they're going to create something creative like a PowerPoint or a video or a poster to share their results and discuss whether more light is needed or less light is needed. Thanks and enjoy the activity.